Catchy, isn't it? Clap to that beat. Doing really well. Okay, you have all just participated in an example of groundbreaking human behavioral research. That simple coordination of clapping in sync has a hidden power, but I'm gonna make you wait to find out what it is for just a few moments. Five years ago, I stood on a TED stage just like this one and said, the future of work will be defined more by how it feels than how it pays. I could never have predicted how quickly that future would arrive. That future is now. Pre-pandemic, only 8% of employees in America who could work from home actually did. That number skyrocketed to more than 70% in May of 2020. And as the dust settles from the upheaval of the pandemic, a new hybrid work model emerged. But it's not just about where you work, because even the 50% of Americans who can't work remotely have been affected by this seismic shift. It seems like everyone has new expectations for what the workplace should feel like. How many of you know someone who has either quit their job or seriously considered quitting their job over the last two years? Just raise your hand. You're not alone. Since the beginning of last year, more than 50 million Americans said, I quit, I'm out. Now, there's an old saying, if one person tells you you have a tail, ignore them. If a hundred people tell you you have a tail, look behind you. <laughs> when a record-breaking number of people have quit, it's time to look for the tail. The workplace is broken. It's been broken. The pandemic showed employees just how much the workplace had been failing them. And now, with the labor crisis in, in the situation that it is right now, they're in control, and they can actually change their experience, and they're demanding fair pay and benefits, they're demanding flexibility, personal support, and effective relational leaders who care for them as people. Where employers ignored this new workplace reality and insisted upon upholding old and rigid standards, employees began fleeing. The question then, whether you're an entry-level employee or a seasoned leader, is how do you not only adapt but stay ahead as this evolution in work inevitably continues? Perhaps surprisingly, this does not involve tactical tips on remote or hybrid workplaces. Those conversations are important, but they're gonna fairly quickly become obsolete. Just look at the headlines. Yesterday it was the great resignation, today it's quiet quitting, tomorrow it will be something else. I believe the answer to staying ahead amidst a world in constant change becomes clear when we couple long-standing human behavioral research with emerging discoveries in neuroscience. Whether we know it consciously or not, each of us are hardwired with needs that must be met if we're gonna thrive as human beings. This human reality also exists in the workplace. Ultimately, if companies want employees to stay, and if employees are seeking a workplace experience too good to leave, then companies are gonna to have to seriously consider how to nourish these hardwired needs. Now, these include, first and foremost, the ability to feel psychologically safe while we're at work through three key channels. Consistent and predictable experiences, having meaningful relationships, and feeling valued. In fact, my team and I have been studying engagement in global organizations for well over a decade, and we've learned quite a bit about the human condition at work. The statement, I feel valued for more than just the work I produce, turns out to be the highest predictor of whether or not an employee is actively engaged while they're at work. 
Actively engaged employees were 89% more likely to agree with that statement than disengaged employees. So once psychological safety is established, the hooks and loops of what I refer to as emotional Velcro develop and begin to bond the employee to their role, their colleagues, and the company. These bonds only become stronger, the Velcro more intertwined, when leaders intentionally provide a trustworthy and just environment, meaningful recognition and feedback, and opportunities for growth. With new discoveries in an emerging field called collective neuroscience, I believe we have a recipe for success in organizations never seen before. Okay, remember that? I know, I kept you in suspense. Researchers recently conducted a study at NYU that took a deep dive into the neuroscience of team dynamics. Participants were organized into groups of four, either as a, as a team working together or as individuals working independently. And they were directed to tap to the beat of that exact music. In the groups working together in this way, that fostered that hidden power you just demonstrated a few moments ago. Something referred to as interbrain synchrony, or brain activity becoming synchronized within a group. With that neural network activated, these teams were set up to perform at a higher capacity. New technology, called hyperscanning, allowed the researchers to record that synced brain activity and it led to several key discoveries. Teams can be guided into higher levels of inter-team synchrony, without question. And when those teams are, they outperformed the individual in virtually every task assigned by the researchers. Now, there was another discovery that really caught my attention as a CEO. The researchers found that interbrain synchrony was a better predictor of team success than social measures like how much a team member valued or liked someone else in the group. Now, leaders can leverage these key findings uh, in three key ways that I want to uh, just walk through now. Synchrony requires a spark, something that connects the mindset of the diverse employees that leaders oversee. A powerful way to do this is through lived core values. Now, core values today are typically a list on a forgotten page of the company website, rather than being intentionally expressed and continuously reinforced. When we can align groups around values, the brain shifts from operating on its own neurological island to a collective mindset. And when this happens, it gives those groups what's called a shared sense of social identity unifying to better accomplish common goals. There is a strong correlation between positive financial performance in organizations and whether employees see stated company values actually put into practice. This is where leaders can serve as critical team synchronizers by being present, accessible, and hopefully even joining in with the work itself clearly demonstrating to employees their congruence with mission and values. Now, despite leaders' best efforts, the reality is there are almost always employees with toxic traits that either reduce or stand in the way of inner brain synchrony. Synchrony busting behaviors such as cynicism, disrespect, or a lack of accountability dissolve unity and rob leaders of the levels of productivity and retention that supports high performance teams. When this happens, it's the leader's responsibility to coach that individual into wanting to be successful and engaged. Ultimately, if those efforts don't work, it might be in everybody's interest just to release them to the market. <laughs> Maybe to a competitor.
Employers everywhere need to know that effective teams and workplace cultures aren't built on flowcharts, spreadsheets, and perks. The teams that outperform are built by leaders who can create a sense of purpose, commitment, and drive, not just known by the individual, but felt by the group collectively. I like to refer to this as the science of synergy. And there is no synergy without synchrony. Imagine an employee saying this about their workplace. I am proud and happy to be here. It has changed my life in every aspect, and I would do anything for this company to get better and better. This is a quote from an employee who has experienced those conditions I've just described. Conditions that need to be so widespread that this solo voice grows into a chorus. It's time to infuse the workplace with new life and vitality by focusing on these timeless brain-based needs. And I believe when you do, you have future-proofed your organization, your community group, your sports team, whatever entity it is that you lead, preparing all of us to stay ahead no matter what tomorrow brings. Thank you.